We'll see mainly cloudy skies today with some afternoon shower activity. Our temperatures getting up to about 9 degrees. Reporting for 1029 Whistle FM News, I'm Bob Pritchard. The long-awaited day has finally arrived. Today is Halloween, and spooks and goblins everywhere are preparing to head out for trick-or-treating festivities. The event, by the way, has become very expensive. The experts are expecting us to spend about $10 billion this year. That breaks down to about $4 billion on costumes, $3.5 billion on candies, $2.5 billion on decorations, and about $500 million on greeting cards. Now, if you have children heading out, here are some safety tips to keep in mind. First of all, don't use masks. Masks make it hard for children to see what's around them, including cars. The experts suggest hypoallergenic non-toxic makeup instead. Make sure to buy costumes in bright colored material. Being seen is critical when you're out trick-or-treating. Place strips of reflective tape on the back and front of costumes so that drivers can better see your child. Costumes should fit properly to prevent trips and falls. Avoid items such as oversized shoes, high heels, long dresses, and long capes. Dress your child appropriately for the weather. Put your child's name, address, and phone number on his or her costume. Children under 10 should be accompanied by adult for trick-or-treating. By the age of 10, some children are ready to go trick-or-treating with a group of friends. Keep in mind that gum and hard candy can pose a choking risk for young children. Remove makeup before bedtime to prevent possible skin and eye irritation. As far as our weather picture goes, we'll have mainly cloudy skies today with some afternoon shower activity. Our afternoon temperatures around 9 degrees. Reporting for Main Street Stovall for 1029 Whistle FM News, I'm Bob Pritchard.